To the busy professional, this is time away from her kids. And even more so, this girl is distressed. She could totally use a helping hand, which is why we've created Vera. To our early adopters, time isn't money. It's precious time away from their kids. Aubrey, over here, is a total Seattle social butterfly. She writes a lifestyle blog and uses Vera as an easy way to catch up with her friends. And here's how Vera works. Thanks, Priya. Thanks, Priya. Vera, Vera is like the, is like best, the best girlfriend, girlfriend you've ever had. had. Aubrey requests Aubrey an in-home style, style so she can go out with her friends. friends. So, so Vera, Vera gives, gives her, her a list of trusted professionals. professionals. With this, she chooses, she chooses Aubrey. Aubrey. Aubrey, Aubrey is a verified is match, match made in heaven. heaven. So, so here's, here's our vision. vision. Vera, Vera is the ultimate, ultimate beauty matchmaker. matchmaker. She, she inspires you to try new trends. trends. She recommends stylists and she remembers your hair and skin, skin type. And this market is ripe for the taking. Let's talk about our growth potential. Last year, the hair and beauty industry grossed $50 billion in revenue, and it's expected to grow. And while this is traditionally an industry of paper and pen, it's ingratiated technology with over 200,000 beauty professionals grow, uh, joining online platforms like Style Seat and Model Mayhem. But they're just an online listing. We are a community of creators, inspiring new looks and trends, like this one. This is another look from our event, Beautify and Blog. We had some amazing traction from the event. Um, within the first day after I quit Microsoft, we were able to gain 40 new clients. We were captured over 100 picture-perfect moments of our customers, gaining in invaluable personal user data. And lastly, we nailed it by getting brand loyalty and trust. Our customers want an encore. The best part, we were able to do all of this with a budget of less than $200. Our business plan is simple. We intend on charging stylists $20 a head per month in order to join Vera. With 17,000 stylists in the Washington area, assuming 20% of them joined Vera, we're looking at a base annual uh, revenue of around 360,000 per year. This is our fiscal estimate for 2015. For us, Vera's always been a passion. We started out small and modestly uh, with her, but we've grown to love it, and it's been one of the best things that we've ever done. <clears throat> While fundraising would be fantastic, what we're really looking for is the right investor to part with, partner with. We're looking to grow a two-sided marketplace, and we're looking for someone who can fuel our passion to be a disruptive force in the hair and beauty industry. Let's build a more brilliant and beautiful world together. Hi, thank you for that. Um, why are you charging a subscription instead of a cut of the, uh, the fees? Sure. So there is kind of this uh, point at which it becomes more economically viable to start charging per transaction. But early on, it's a little bit more uh, makes sense to actually charge per stylist, since the, task, uh, the amount that TaskGrab and Airbnb take is around 15 to 20%. So in order to make that from a $20, $20 off of 15, 20%, you're looking at a stylist making at least $200 in uh, revenue. Uh, so that means she has to have at least five services accounted for that month, as opposed to charging her once $20, and she'll be able to make that up within that first blowout she services to any client. So it's a little bit easier early on, but once we hit this kind of uh, inflection point, we'll be able to switch over to the paper transaction, which becomes much more economically viable. Sorry, just one follow-on. But then it's harder to get them on board in, in the beginning, right? Because you don't have customers, right? And you're charging um, them up front, but I guess that's... Well, a lot of these girls are looking for supplemental income. Style, the average stylist makes $45,000 a year, which is double <coughs> minimum wage in Seattle. Most of them have kids, and so we're looking to really be kind of that supplemental income to it. So where does uh, hair and makeup start and stop? So do you do in extensions? Do you totally. is it just blowouts or what? Yeah, so we, uh, we have an extensible UI, and we want to build it out into hair, makeup, beauty, and whatever else girls need. And Match home service. Absolutely. Yeah, yes or no question. Uh, don't you just, once you find a stylist you love, you just stick with that stylist, right? We want to answer that. Um, it was a yes or no, sorry. Uh, As, uh, once you find a stylist that you love, don't you just stick with one stylist? No, girls cheat on their stylists all the time. Okay. 